Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. I'm here in my conference room. I'm about to make a video that you're going to love. If you're thinking about getting into the car business, I'm about to show you what life will look like as a salesperson. This is a video you don't want to miss. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. All right, so today I'm going to talk about what it is like to work as a car salesman. I'm going to bounce around a little bit. I made eight points here that I really want you to pay attention to, and I think that this is going to help you. Whether you're selling cars now or you're just getting in, this is a great video that will really help walk you through what you can expect. Number one, I want to talk about anyone can do it, okay? So I see a lot of people that come from nothing who end up with the most in the automotive industry, okay? So I don't care how people have labeled you or, you know, who you are, you know, like how your life has been, whether you didn't graduate college or whether you graduated college and, you know, you had straight A students and you're the easy, easy, easiest and best learner in the world. Look, anyone can do this job, okay? One of the salespeople that I hired, one of the most successful salespeople I know, I hired him, he's wearing a Carhartt coat in Carhartt pants, he was out digging ditches, making $300 a week. And the first three places he went, they wouldn't hire him. And he came in and I remember interviewing him and I was like, hey man, you know, tell me what's up. And he's like, look man, I know I'm not dressed like the rest of these guys. He said, but the fire I have in my belly to succeed and make it and change my family's future is huge. I said, boom, hired, I'll teach you the rest. I want you to know, that that can be you, so no matter where you are and no matter what age you are, whether you're 18 or you're 70 years old, this business can be great to you. So, anyone can do it. Number two, let's talk about the money for a minute. The money can be insane. Notice I said, can be, okay? You have to understand this, that most of the time when you get hired on at a car dealership, dealerships are extremely busy. They have a lot going on. So. You have the ability to go from making zero, dead and eating on broke, to making $15,000 a month, like that, okay? But you have to get the training in. It is extremely important for you to understand you can change your life from a financial perspective as long as you go all in, and you have to understand that this business is unbelievable for anyone who is serious and wants to crush it. So, who is it for? It's for anybody, and how much can you make? There's no limit in this business. My last year selling cars, I made over 700 grand. As a GM, I made over 2 million. I will tell you this, I was dead broke at 18. In case you don't know the story, at 18, nada, and I went down and I started hustling, I started learning how to sell, I invested in myself, and then the rest is history and you can do the same thing, all right? Let's talk about mindset for a minute before we get into some of the other areas. Mindset's extremely important in this business, okay? You got to have the mindset that the first sale that you ever make in this business is selling yourself that you can do this job, okay? And that's it, and you can. I don't care if you're an introvert or an extrovert. So I'm an extrovert, right, now, but I started as an introvert, okay? And what I had to do was just put myself out there, and everything you want in life is right on the other side of being uncomfortable. I put myself out there and I decided that I deserved something in life that I haven't got yet. But you just don't get what you deserve, you get what you go earn. So I had to earn the fact that I had to get out there and get myself uncomfortable as much as possible and get in front of as many people. And I decided to make this mindset shift to say, hey, the next person that pulls up came to buy and they can buy and, I, and they will buy as long as I do my job. So I would practice every morning on training and then I would tell myself that the next person I talk to is gonna buy a car and then I had that mindset that I had a great energy, I had great drive, I had a great attitude towards the customers that would pull into the dealership. And literally, it's like customers would just mirror me. They loved enjoying doing business with me. I was competent, I knew what I was doing. And boom, man, I just started rising to the top and I started outselling everybody. I will share with you, without a great mindset though, guess what, you'll be like a coffin just walking around in the dealership. Make sure you know this business is for anybody, how much money you can make, and the mindset of a high achiever, okay? Um, hey guys, it's Andy. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like and subscribe below. Also, click on the link below. Join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. Um, let's talk about hours for a second. All right, so in the beginning, when you first start in the automotive space, most of the time you're gonna end up working a lot of hours because it's a business that you don't really understand yet. And especially if you're a high achiever, okay, and you're somebody who wants to do really well, you'll probably end up working 40 to 50 to 60 hours within your first couple months. 
Now, as you start to understand and figure out what processes you know, work best for you and the best way to you know, I say crush everybody in your store, guess what? These hours will start to scale down as your money scales up. Now, I'm a person where I believe that nobody can outwork me, but that doesn't mean outwork me like as in clocked in hours. There's 60 minutes in an hour and how you work 60 minutes in that hour is actually what matters. Most salespeople will come in at 8 a.m. in the morning and they'll leave at 9 p.m. at night only to have really worked two real hours during the day. Don't, don't be that guy. Listen to me when I say this. You could work eight hours a day and you could put in more work than some salespeople put in in four days of work just by really watching your time and by time blocking. So I'll just share with you, hours, they're gonna be high in the beginning when you're getting in. But if you've been selling cars for a long time and those hours haven't come down a little bit, I'd really recommend on leveling up and elevating your skill and you can always reach out to us. We'll help you with that, okay? Let's talk about potential long term. This is an important area, okay? So you start as a salesperson. And by the way, just so you understand this, whether you're a manager, whether you're a GM, or whether you're a salesperson, or you own the dealership, everybody is responsible for selling. If you don't sell, guess what? You're not gonna make any money. So everybody has to sell. Great GMs do what? They sell a lot, okay? Maybe they not, may not be the ones out there shaking hands right when people pull up, but they are doing lots of selling. They're making sure that deals get closed, customers get taken care of, yesterday's customers, tomorrow's customers, and today's customers. Guess what? Selling is everything. It's either sell or be sold. If you're not selling somebody, they're selling you on an excuse on why they need to leave. I want you to understand that. So when you look at long-term potential here, as you move up in the ranks to the dealership, it's not my goal to tell you that, you know, a title, if you go to KFC and you work, the manager makes more than the employee, okay? The, I would say the, the cash register person or something, okay? Or the cook. But that's not, that's not the same in the car business. I know people in the car business that sell cars that make more money than their GMs. I did. When I sold cars, I made three times more than my GM. But guess what? I didn't want the title. I would always say, hey, call me the janitor, just show me the money. Titles don't mean anything to me, okay? We're all selling, so titles aren't everything. So I want you to understand this. Don't be so quick to move up into management, although that it could be a good promotion. Sometimes it could also be a demotion, okay? So just choose wisely. Selling is done in all three positions. Salesman, manager, and GM, okay? But you can move up big time. There's giant potential in this business. Um, and by the way, it doesn't require a degree, okay? So what will life look like when you're selling cars? Well, what it will look like is this. You're probably A, want to bring your own lunch. Okay? You don't want to go to work every day and spend a lot of money eating out. Also, you don't want to get stuck in the fast food lane that most car salespeople live in. And guess what? They're always so busy selling cars or they're so busy working or they think that they're busy that they eat out every day and they eat junk. And all of a sudden, they put on 50, it's like the freshman, you know, 15 or freshman 20 going to college. Man, they put on, you know, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. Next thing you know, they feel like crap and they're out of shape. Look, you need to bring your own lunch. You need to take care of yourself. And I'm telling you this because I like to have access to food when I'm hungry because I never know when a deal's going to come. Okay. And I know that, you know, lunch is at 11 o'clock, but in the car business, we really don't have a lunch. Okay. We are there to sell cars whenever the customer's there and we're always grinding. We're always hustling. So that's something you need to think about, right? What will life look like? Uh, lunch is gone. We eat on the fly, bring your own food. Secondly, let's talk about the mindset attitude, which we talked about over here, that you have to have. You're probably going to want to stay motivated and watch YouTube videos constantly, watch motivational videos constantly, be doing some exercise, because you really got to raise your energy up. A lot of places that you can work in don't really require a lot of energy. The car business does. The reason why is because when people get excited and get emotional, they want to spend money. So it's your job as a salesperson to want to stay jacked up constantly. Also on top of that, you always work Saturdays. One of the things in the car business is that on Saturdays, everybody's off work. So what do we wanna do? We wanna be there for the weekends when they're free. So uh, versus a typical job where you work Monday through Friday, you'll actually work Monday through Saturday and you'll take a day off in the middle of the week normally and then you'll end up working Saturday. But those Saturdays really pay out well, okay? So let's talk about organization for a minute. This is something that a lot of salespeople don't have. 
So it's important for you to have that. Um, you know, I've got a weekly crush it planner, right? That's amazing. You know, if you go to the elliotgroupnow.com, um, you can look at the weekly crush it planner. It's, it's wicked. A lot of people don't plan. So, you know, people don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. The day is one before it begun. So people don't plan that. They walk into the dealership. They hope that, you know, some magical customer will come pulling in and they really don't do anything except for just hang around. You don't want to be that guy. You want to stay organized. You want to time block your day from 8 a.m. in the morning till 6 p.m. when you leave in the afternoon. It really doesn't matter. Just make that happen. Um, so uh, another deal, work ethic. Work ethic is huge. You definitely want to make sure that you have work ethic. I was labeled as one of the hardest workers in the dealership within the first three to four months when I started selling cars. And how that happened is by outworking everybody. I wasn't the most talented, okay? But hard work beats talent when talent don't show up. So that was one of the ways that I beat a lot of the guys out right out the gate who were more talented than me was because of work ethic, all right? Um, also, you can click on the link below in the description box. You will see that you can set up a free consultation call with us. What does that mean? You say, Andy, what is that? It's, it's basically a strategy call. What we do is that if you're thinking about getting in, we just talked to a guy about two weeks ago. He said, Andy, I'm thinking about getting in the car business. Guess what we did? We set him up a plan. He started, went and got his first job, and the first week out the gate, he sold 12 cars. Now, I know salespeople have been doing this for two years, and they haven't sold 12 cars right per month anything is possible there is no limit on a human but you have to be willing to get a strategy to get a game plan and all these things play out and they're super important so if you want to click on the link below we do what's called 20 minute strategy calls um, you can set it up with us we want to time block it set it in where we can actually get your full attention or you can get our full attention we meet you see what's going on and then we set up a strategy so you can crush it i hope this video helped you i hope you guys have a great day